Okay, so this is the image that we're going to turn into the CCTV sign. Um, as you can see, all I've done is I've imported it as a JPEG image in to Sign Blazor. Uh, this little pink outline here is the workspace area, which is set to be A4 in size. Now, because it is just a JPEG image, we can't cut straight from the JPEG because it just won't work, it won't allow it. See, so if we try it, uh, we go to Cutter. There you go, it says the drawing contains a bitmap and then you go through and there isn't anything there. So what we need to do is we need to vectorize this image. Now there are various programs you can use to do the vectorizing or if it's just a simple image like this you can actually do it within the Sign Blazor program itself. So what you do is you go up to Image, Mode and you choose Monochrome. Uh, it won't do any kind of like vectorizing unless the image is a monochrome image. So what you can then do is you can change the threshold over here. Um, so if you look at say the white spaces there, you can see if I start turning it up, um, it starts to slowly lose them. The edges aren't as crisp and if I turn it down, it gets just the same as well. So if we keep it at 50 where it was, it's there. And yeah, that's fine. So that is now a, a monochrome image. So we then go back up to image on the menu bar and we go to vectorize. Again, it brings up another list um, of examples. I don't change anything here. I just click OK. So there we go. So if you then put your cursor over the image, click and hold and then drag, you'll see that it's pulled away from... Um, another part of the image. Now yours might not be like that because I've got out front, there you go. So that is probably how it would look. So what you need to do at that point is you've got two different individual images there. One image is the bitmap, the other image is the image you are going to be cutting from. So what we've got here is the black image being the bitmap, the blue image is the one that we can cut from. So we just move the black one out of the way, press the delete button on the keyboard and bosh it's gone. So what you're now left with is the the vectorized image. So what I like to do is I just go to view outline wireframe so as I can see how it is actually going to cut it and that looks fine. So I'm going to shrink it down to the size that we require and go just a little bit smaller keeping everything in to proportion. So then if we click the cutter button you can see that everything's come across to the cutter. So we click finish and I want that image to be aligned, so I'm going to click align to the sign centre, the centre of the centre, so it's all in the centre, click OK. And there we go, that's now aligned. So when that's cut now on the cutter, that's how it's going to come out. So I'm going to get the cutter all rigged up, ready to go, and um, we'll get this one cut.